heating and humidification. This is used in winter air conditioning. In winter, moisture content and temperature of air are considerably less. Therefore, air is to be subjected to heating and humidification. The air at dry bulb temperature TD1 and SHW1 is allowed to enter to chamber where its temperature is increased sensibly with the help of a heating coil. Now, the temperature of air is increased. Next, the air is allowed to flow through a humidifier where the air is exposed to water spray. As a result, the moisture content of air is increased. The air coming out of the chamber is heated and humidified. As shown in psychometric chart, the incoming air is at temperature TD1 and specific humidity W1. This is shown by state 1. Now, the state is noted from 1 to A. Draw the sensible heating process in the coil. Again, the state of air reaches final states 2 from A due to humidification. State 2 is the final condition of air. In this process, dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature and humid ratio of air is increased. Thank <laughs> you.